Hi everyone, I am Aurora from Reply, and I'm here to tell you briefly who we are and what we do. Reply is a company founded in 1996 and is nowadays spread all over the world. It is based on a network of different companies, each of them specialized in a specific industry or business area, focusing on consultancy and system integration services. It is listed on the stock exchange and it is growing. Today, we are a close-knit community of about 9,000 employees. My company, NetReply, is the one focused on network technology, going from the network infrastructure to its sectorization. Hence, we work on topics such as automation and virtualization, and the application of machine learning and artificial intelligence on network data. Our interest is also in the 5G paradigm and, it, and its application on the new generation networks like the smart cities. And just on this topic, we propose the SEI challenge. The core of the challenge is to develop a new TM platform for 5G connected drone fleet management. We support a team of students in understanding how 5G infrastructure can be used for manage a drone fleet in BBLOS leveraging on the low latency and the high bandwidth. The challenge will help in meeting different market needs for enterprise customers, building a concrete prototype that can be used for drone as a service applications. Are you interested in all of this? Do you want to be part of Reply while studying? Join the Reply Ambassador team. It is an international program for students who want to work with a leading European technology company. You will have access to our learning program, events, and find out about internship and job opportunities before all your friends and peers. Join us at ambassador.reply.com. Thanks for your time and enjoy the challenge. Bye. Hi, my name is Gaetano, and I'm a member of the 5G team. During our project, we have been supported by NetReply a pioneer in digital innovation whose interests vary from big data and analytics to energy and utilities. Have you ever wondered how many natural disasters happened in the last two decades? A recent study shows they were almost 7,000 worldwide, and if you think, it's almost one per day. Floods are the main of them, 41% of the total over the last 20 years. In those cases, the number of people affected was 1.6 billion. Some of them got lost, hoping to be rescued quickly. Over the decades, different ways have been put in the field in order to perform search and rescue missions. For instance, human squads, but they are slow. Secondly, helicopters, but they are expensive. Moreover, piloted drones, but the presence of specialized operators is mandatory and drones must be in the visual line of sight. In a nutshell, currently there is not a comprehensive solution. We have taken the best of these models, joining Reply, our supporting company, in the following challenge. We merged cooperation, speed and affordability and the result is Droneit. Droneit is a professional platform designed for research and rescue missions, implementing advanced traffic management through 5G connectivity, with the aim to control remotely a fleet of drones. More specifically, the outcomes of our value proposition are faster deployment, which is essential in emergency cases, remote control, to allow specialized operators to contribute wherever they are, and real-time data stream with higher resolution to quickly recognize people. This was made possible by 5G technology that is 100 times faster than the ones currently used, minimizing the time of reaction, especially useful for long distances and warranting a better quality of data streamed. Our solution is based mainly on a user-friendly graphical interface and on a smart navigation algorithm. Let me show you a quick video about how our platform works. 
The first step to access the platform is the authentication. Then, the operator can either join an existing mission or start a new one, selecting location, number of drones, type of mission and general height. Once the first parameters are set, it is possible to generate the code of the mission, automatically shared on the portal to allow joining. Secondly, the area of interest can be selected, adding the contour points. In addition, the user can choose the proper drones composing the fleet, according to their features and equipment. Before launching, a pre-flight checklist must be fulfilled by the program. A general panel shows all the drone's position and expected trajectories, notifying the creator of the mission when another operator wants to join. We have also designed a panel with the aim of monitoring the status of a single drone, giving the possibility to intervene by manual control. On the other hand, our navigation algorithm is based on a coast map approach, which allows us to provide dynamic path planning, obstacle avoidance, anti-collision system, and optimized area coverage. Concerning communication, the fleet can be properly coordinated using an architecture based on a virtual private network, implemented on a cloud infrastructure. All the nodes are connected to the VPN and therefore are able to share information using both MQTT protocol and standard UDP link stream. And here we are, one of the four drones of the fleet that we have built. As you can see from the picture, our drones mount 5G modules for connection issues, GPS to provide information on the position, Raspberry Pi 3 and PixOak for control purposes. Now, I would like to share with you our future challenge, starting from a question. What if, after a disaster, 5G becomes weaker? Probably our system would not have the suited signal to work properly. In general, all the rescue operation could be compromised, preventing the use of digital solutions. That's why we want to add a higher layer of drones, able to provide network connectivity, either substituting damaged communication infrastructures or bringing the signal where it is not present. Meanwhile, we want to go deeper in our current use case, enlarging the fleet, implementing AI for human recognition and extending obstacle detection. This is the team that made the project come to life. We merged our competencies from different engineering fields, fully convinced that our backgrounds allowed us to make the solution possible. For any further doubts, you can reach us through this mail. Thank you for watching.